In the heat of an argument, my brother-in-law revealed my husband's infidelity. He sent me screenshots of their conversations as proof. But my husband claims they're faked. Plus update. Original post. We had a party last night, and my brother-in-law Chris attended. He's 10 years younger than my husband. Near the end of the party, about 2 a.m., I was in the kitchen cleaning up. He was out on the deck talking to Jennifer, a woman Chris graduated with, who lives nearby, and they had both been drinking. The porch door was open, so even though I wasn't eavesdropping, it was impossible not to hear what they were saying. Chris was flirting with her. He kept complimenting her, saying how beautiful and pretty she was etc. I guess at one point she pulled up his Facebook and saw that he has a girlfriend. He said Jennifer was lovely, and Jennifer said, thank you, and it looks like your girlfriend is lovely as well. Chris started saying how they were going through something right now. They weren't technically together, it was an open relationship. Everything he could think of. Jennifer was being really cool about it, she kept saying thank you, and how she appreciated his compliments, but she wasn't interested. He was getting kind of annoyed, and at one point he said, I bet if I was my brother, you'd have no issues with this. Jennifer said, your brother is actually loyal. He wouldn't cheat on his wife. To which Chris replied, my brother cheats on his wife all the time. Jennifer replied she doubted that was true, and Chris said my husband slept with someone he worked with, and that he was planning to sleep with Jennifer as well, and that clearly his plan was working since Jennifer idolizes my husband. At this point Jennifer told him he was acting out of line and needed to go sober up, and walked away. Chris came storming into the kitchen, and saw I was there, and told me something along the lines of how all of that stuff he said was true, and how my husband never gets held accountable. He then proceeded to go into the garage and have a huge screaming fight with my husband. In the fight, Chris said that he didn't deserve anything he had, and my husband had forced Chris to keep his secrets. My husband said that Chris was a liar who wanted to ruin my husband's life, since he was jealous that he's better off in life than Chris is. For relevant context here, Chris was struggling a lot a few years ago, while my husband and I were buying a house, having our first child etc., and I know he harbors some resentment from that time. The argument ended with my husband kicking Chris out. He immediately told me everything Chris said was a lie, that he was just trying to cause chaos. But when I woke up this morning, Chris had texted me about 20 pictures and videos that were screenshots and screen recordings of conversations between my husband and Chris, talking about how he had gotten drunk and slept with a coworker years ago. Conversations between the two of them about Jennifer that were overtly sexual and showed that he was clearly planning to at least try to hook up with her. There are photos included in these messages. My husband said they were all faked, and he said my brother-in-law has been planning this for a while. I know it's easy to fake a screenshot of a conversation, but there are screen recordings too, as in, I could see the messenger app being opened and him clicking on the conversation, and everything. The recent conversations match the recent conversations in my husband's phone, but my husband doesn't have any of the incriminating messages my brother-in-law does. Are screen recordings something you can fake? And any other advice on what I should do here is really appreciated. Now for the top advice before reading the update. I understand why you are unsure, because a lot of this stuff can be faked now, and this is your marriage so you want to be careful. The best thing to do is to go directly to brother-in-law and ask him for his phone. See the text messages for yourself, call the number they are attached to, or look at it, and you will be able to see if they are real or fake. You can't fake text messages connected to a phone number, so that should be all you need to do, and I imagine brother-in-law would be happy to confirm. And if he won't, well that's a point against him. Your brother-in-law was so angry, it wouldn't surprise me he faked them. But he was also clearly frustrated, and if people think your husband is the golden child, or if he feels that way, he could have finally snapped and really be telling the truth. It is very hard, within 24 hours, to fake not just text messages, but text messages dated a year ago, and to do a video recording. But I'm no tech expert, so who knows. It is worth talking to brother-in-law and getting his phone in your hands to confirm. For what it's worth, a few decades as a software engineer. Yes, all this can be faked. If I can make Putin do the chicken dance, then all of this can be falsified. Note the number, note the timestamps of the messages, cross-reference the timestamps with your mobile phone bill. It would be very hard to fake all that and keep it synchronized. The only way I can think how to fake a screen recording is if he was sending those messages to someone else and changed the name in his phone to your husband's to make it look like he said them. But you then say that the previous messages match up to the ones your husband did send. I think brother-in-law is telling the truth. If the brother-in-law is really committed, then he could copy over the other messages and continue the flow of convo. I mean there's two sets of the convo after all, it wouldn't be that hard if he's already faking the dirty stuff. Tell me what sounds more plausible. 
1. That your husband is cheating, and in a moment of frustration, his brother told his secrets. 2. In a Count of Monte Cristo-style twist, your brother-in-law has faked establishing a closer relationship with his brother for the past five years, has engaged in creating fake texts and screen recordings to incriminate your husband, and then staged an argument with a woman he was trying to hook up with, all in an effort to ruin your relationship because he was resentful that you guys were in a better place than he was years ago. Apply Occam's razor, and I think you have your answer. Occam's razor here means the end of a marriage, so you have to be absolutely sure. I know people who have been so resentful of someone else that they would make up lies about people all the time. I've seen it firsthand. There are apps that will incorporate current texts, and you can fake anything. It's so easy to do now that you can't rule that out, especially when the end result is divorce. Edit. Please stop saying I am in denial, that I'm blindly believing my husband, etc. I am posting on here looking for more information so I can make an informed decision and not make a rash one. I have not stated either way who I do or do not believe. For clarification, my husband is not claiming that my brother-in-law faked all of these screenshots last night. He's saying this is something my brother-in-law has been planning to do for a while. He said he's always harbored resentment for him. Which is true, Chris is very resentful of my husband. So he says Chris could have done this at any time and just had them ready. Update. I am meeting up with my brother-in-law to see his phone in person to see the messages and verify if they're real or not. Now for the full update. My husband and I both went over my brother-in-law's. My husband was remaining adamant that he'd never sent those messages or cheated on me. When we got to Chris's house, he was able to provide the screenshots and screen grabs, but not the actual messages. He claimed he deleted the messages after he got the screenshots for storage reasons on his phone. Even so, my brother-in-law insisted the screenshots were real and that my husband just deleted the messages off his phone. My husband and I went as far as to go online and check our itemized bill. There are days where my brother-in-law has screenshots, where according to our phone bill, my husband never texted him that day, or even the days before or days following for that matter. I don't know why my brother-in-law had these fabricated conversations, nor when he was planning to reveal them, or if he just made them to have just in case to use his blackmail, or to threaten him. But he used an app to create them. We didn't get much out of him as far as reasoning. We're going to go very low contact with my brother-in-law for the time being. I thought as in my husband's relationship was getting better, but it clearly isn't. For what it's worth, the coworker that my husband apparently slept with was three days postpartum with her and her husband's third child when my brother-in-law claims the affair happened. Additional info, he's been wanting to hook up with Jennifer and she has absolutely no interest in him. But he overheard Jennifer talking about what an amazing husband and father my husband is. So, after she rejected him again, that set him off. Why is my brother-in-law resentful of my husband? He resents my husband because of the way their parents treated them. My husband never got into any trouble, so his parents treated him well. When we got married, they gave us the down payment for our house, they paid off both of our college debts so we could have a clean start. My brother-in-law was more rambunctious as a child, so he was always treated like a criminal and eventually began behaving the part. My in-laws never helped him financially when he needed it. My father-in-law is very tough on him. Sorry, your brother-in-law is a psycho in my eyes. He needs help. Yeah, I didn't realize how far he was willing to go to get back at my husband. I would even get a restraining order. He tried to ruin both your lives over his ego. You were very smart about how you handled all of this. Some people just have a different operating system than most of us and will therefore do things way beyond what we can understand. It's good that you first assumed the more rational, likely solution, then were willing to accept the more out there conclusion when facts were presented. This man has likely not shown the full extent of what he's capable of. Be very cautious. This is exactly why you were looking for actual advice and not just believing your brother-in-law or hubby. Glad you have sorted it out. Oh, and brother-in-law is a twat. Thank you very much. And yes, he is. I don't know if you learned any from this experience of sharing and looking for ideas on here. But so many people saying your husband cheated and asking you to quit the marriage says a lot about Reddit and its users and how just because some things sounds reasonable doesn't mean they are staying facts. It's important to get as much info as possible before we come to any conclusion, no matter how things look initially. I'm glad you got things cleared. And be safe because your brother-in-law sounds erratic and the kind of guy who enjoys revenge and getting back at people. Three days postpartum. I'm screaming. Your brother-in-law is a great amoron. I can't believe he tried to ruin your lives. I know, I'm pretty shocked. If I had believed this, I would have left my husband, and the people who would suffer the most would be the kids. He's their uncle. 
I'm still in disbelief this happened. I would really consider actual no contact and security for your home. That level of jealousy is nothing to be ignored. He sounds unhinged and dangerous. Now for the last story. I am going to divorce my husband of 10 years. Plus update. Original post. My husband and I met when I was 18. It had always been just me and my best friend, but when my husband came along, we became an inseparable trio. For me it was love at first sight. I had the biggest crush on him, but didn't want to ruin the friendship thing we had, so I kept it to myself. Until he confessed to me when we were 20. Things went fast and we got married when we were 22. My best friend got married too and we have all remained close. We had invited my best friend and her husband around for dinner and we were joking about the things we got up to and my husband brought up how he had always had a crush on my best friend, but then she got a boyfriend, so he settled for me instead. I tell you, my whole world just came crashing down. I realized my marriage of 10 years was him settling for second best, that I was never his first option. After that, everything he did just started to annoy me and he just stopped being attractive to me anymore. We haven't slept together in six months because I feel so disgusted. I just want out. I feel like I've wasted my life. I'm disappointed in him and myself for believing I was the one he liked. Edit, okay I'll just answer the main questions here because I don't want to keep answering them. No, yes, I don't care, I don't know. I tried to talk it out for six months. Edit, husband knows about the divorce. I told my best friend and she told my husband. So I come home to a don't leave him intervention where they all wanted to work it out. I have never been so confused because for the past six months, I've been trying to ask him what he feels and what he meant by his comment and to answer my questions, like literally to the point I have screamed it in his face to just tell me. And he's been saying nothing and she has been encouraging me to talk to him but keeping her distance. I thought it was because she didn't like him. Apparently, she just thinks we are perfect together and he doesn't want to lose what we have. What do we have? We are basically roommates who are intimate at this point. I think I won't update this because I'm a bit miffed and angry. I am going to go stay at my mum's or something. Now for the top comments before reading the update. There was a similar story on Reddit a few weeks back about a husband who announced to his entire family that he settled for his wife and initially found her repulsive before falling in love with her. And surprise, it made the wife fall out of love with him. Why do people think it's a cute joke to be like, at first I thought I could do way better than you, but eventually I was like, a hey, maybe I can't. Dumb as hell. I remember that story. Repulsive. What a word to just throw around. The only way at first I found my wife repulsive would make sense as a joke is if you had met her initially after she had just had a back to the future Biff Stileman your accident or something similar. He just announced this in middle of a dinner casually like it was a funny story. In six months, he hasn't noticed you're upset. He hasn't questioned what the issue is. I think your marriage has been over and you haven't realized it yet. Yeah, he announced it like a funny story. And he has noticed I'm upset. I am not quiet, I've told him why I'm upset, but he just can't understand because he chose me. He can't understand because he sees himself as the prize. You have nothing to be upset about. You want him. Exactly. But he isn't a prize, he's a person with flaws like the rest of us, and if he sees himself as that valuable that I should just be happy that he settled for me, then how does he see me? Bro, that would be awkward as heck. If I was the best friend's husband, I'd have to talk to him in private, because have you been waiting on my girl this whole time? He was very angry, but he was very polite about it. I don't even know what I would have done if I was in his shoes. Honestly though, because I feel like someone would only say that, to plant a seed and get the other person thinking. Sorry that happened to you, but good for you for not sticking around. And now for the update. Okay, so pretty major update that I said I wouldn't do, but I am not a man of my word and never said I was. Today I got a message from best friend's husband asking where she was, and I had no idea because I am at my mother's house. Can we guess where she is? She is at my freaking house with my freaking husband. What weird freaking universe am I living in? Anyway, yeah, so I'm leaving and taking all my stuff with me. My mum will have to put up with me for a while. Divorce is definitely happening. I'm going to get therapy.